Getting started as a property manager can be a bit confusing. Where do you get started? Do you need a license or any special certifications to act as a property manager? And what else can you do to get started on the right foot as a property manager? Well, that and more is exactly what we're going to go over in today's video. Welcome to a complete guide to property management certifications. Welcome back Loopers, my name is Sydney and I'm a content creator here at Doorloop. Let's get started with the basics. What certifications do you need to become a property manager? They can be broken down into two groups, required certifications to do business via a license and additional certifications to improve your skills, show you're an expert to obtain better clients and therefore earn more. In most states, you are required to have a license to practice property management. Many states require you to obtain a real estate agent or broker's license or similar, though not every state does. Here are a few examples of state licenses certain states will accept as valid to practice property management. A real estate broker's license, a real estate salesperson's license, and CPM or Certified Property Management Certification, and this goes by many names. The last one is often required in addition to a broker's license, though as mentioned, it depends on the state. So you'll wanna make sure to visit your official state's website or your state's National Association of Realtors website to find the information on what licensing is required. Beyond the required licensing certification, most states have a additional certification you can obtain. Typically, the certification acts as a degree. It increases potential opportunities and earning potential. One common example is a Certified Property Manager or CPM certification, which goes by a variety of names based on the state. In California, for example, you either need a broker's license or to hang your agent's license with a brokerage. But beyond that, you also need to obtain some kind of property management certification. In California, that's typically through the California Certified Residential Manager Program. This program is designed to comply with all of California's laws and regulations for managing property in that state. Once you've passed the course, you've provided state-approved certification that you've been trained in the best property management practices and policies for the state. As mentioned, however, this is highly dependent on the state, so make sure to check to see what certification programs exist in your state. Do you need a degree for property management? So beyond typical certifications, a degree is encouraged, but not at all required. The training you receive to obtain your agent's or broker's license in combination with any typical property management certification is all you need to know in order to manage a property in the basic sense. If you're interested in looking into degrees, a business administration degree is generally a good option as it allows you to obtain knowledge in a variety of areas that is relevant to property management. Those include accounting and general finance, management, marketing and advertising, or law. Can you get your property management certification online? Nowadays, many states offer programs that allow you to get your property management certification or licensing completely online. Typically, you'll need to visit a physical location to take the exam itself though. However, you can usually obtain all study materials and do all the prep work before that point entirely online. To find out what is necessary to get your license and or other certifications in your state, once again, just check your official state website or office or associated NAR website where most courses are credited for licensing with their respective state, such as the California Association of Realtors, the New York State Association of Realtors, Florida Realtors, or Texas Real Estate Commission. What else can you do to get started right as a property manager? Well, if you're looking to get started on the right foot, getting your license and property management certification is definitely the best place to start. Beyond that, there are many things that you can do to put yourself in a position to be successful sooner. For instance, this YouTube channel is designed to help property managers and landlords become better and more efficient at managing their properties. If you're interested in becoming a property manager, whether you have experience with investment property or not, you can check out our playlist linked up here on tips for property managers. But that is all I have for today. I wish you the best of luck. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!